It's the start of the working day for the Hot Property Boys, and Colin's been and got his morning cuppa. Morning. So. Way, hack would you mug? Joke master. No, no, you'll go far with that. That's you'll go really far with that, lad. Post it to it. It's two years ago, right? He covered my car in Nutella and Carling Black label. I had to have the thing completely resprayed. Every time I turned on the ignition, there was just this awful pong. I went to a garage, right? And they must have thought I was having awful parties. I'll just get the bus in now. It's all harmless fun, ain't it? Right, once right, right, once right. I sell a tape to piece of paper to his back saying, I pissed the bed. And he walked around with it for two days. People thought I was his carer. There's something in particular that's distracting Jed this morning. Ready? You press this one. I'm Batman. And you press this one like. What's and it's like they're having a conversation. In the same room. Your parents told you they're proud of you, do they? At least they talk to me. Do they though? But they do. But do they? Yes, they do. Didn't think so. Um, they do. Wouldn't want your parents talking to me. It isn't too long before the boys have to get down to some serious hard work. And you're definitely sure they're keeping pets. Even though it's a no pets policy. You sure you haven't, they haven't just got an animal hospital on the telly? It's bound to be loud. They've got eight kids. No, no, right, don't do that. I'll sort it, I'll sort it. No, don't take your machete round. But the same to you with brass knobs on. Bye. Right. Um, we've got a few properties in that area in your price range. In fact, there's one for two hundred eighty thousand. Um, in fact, the seller. Bender. Bender. No, no, vendor. Vendor. That's what they call them. God, do you do your week's worth of training at the Hilton Hotel? Yeah. Um, that's not the only the. There you go, and um, by the way, the missus of the bloke who's selling it, Poor. Oh, um, I don't think she's into the, oh, oh, the house. I could try and pencil some in for the weekend. Yeah. Women. Oh. Yeah, some of the women I've seen you with wouldn't look out of place on walking with dinosaurs. Now that's a joke. Bit like you're. Alright, alright. Anyway, I'm off out. Where? Just out. Oh, okay. But, um, before you go. Yeah? Hasta la vista, baby. This is a big moment for Colin. As he's revisiting a property he last saw when he starred on the property programme, Your Perfect Suburb. Now the last time I was here I was with a camera crew for a television show. They were a bit better than yours to be honest. Uh, it's for a television programme about houses. I um, can't remember what channel it was on. It might be that one on Channel 4. You know, a uh, bald bloke. Paul Spencer. Nasty bloke. This is a first-rate garage and driveway. Look at those concrete slabs. Ooh, paving. Yeah, I can imagine opening up a little BP garage on here. A BP garage in the garage. That's great, that. I'm going to write that down. BP garage in the garage. Fantastic. Prison inmate 2738. 
Colin Hackwood, arrested for crimes against, uh, I don't know, property selling. You have been sentenced to life imprisonment. I'm only mucking about, no joking. It's general got to prison. I mean, he did, actually. Rotary washing line. He's vetted by the Australians, that. Along with cricket. Been in some gardens before and seen some stuff on washing lines, you know. Women's underwear, men's underwear. Once saw a soiled mattress. Although that last one wasn't on a washing line. It was just in the garden. Sop banana! There used to be a fridge in your way. There's not one now. Champion. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. They've had the cowboys in here, haven't they? God and Bennett, that shabby. You haven't seen a rack. It's woeful. Oh, it's clean now. It wasn't the last time. Right. I don't know. I don't know the rest, but whatever. This is me banging the ball right into some little dickhead bollocks. Banger of a shot. Gala bingo! It's more or less completed in here now. Yeah, I remember when I was last here. All the all the worktops were out on black and decker work, mate. So blooming not now. A superb piece of floor work down here. No no no, that is that is Premier League. First class tiling. Supreme. I could have imagined myself standing there with a cup of Tetley's, listening to Radio 4, popping a few slices of Kingsmill 50-50 into the Bevel Toaster, watching the world go by. Is that a massive polo on the door? It's like a big polo, isn't it? Big old polo on the door. Still looking very tidy in here. Glad to see they've kept the stereo from last time. Uh, I like this. Karate, Kung Fu, table tennis. Charming neighbours. Lovely. Now we've stripped the floors here. Hard to work out why, really. Either it's a cosmetic change, you know, just add a bit of natural style, or they really are just doing more decorating. It's interesting, actually. Uh, timber was the reason that marijuana got illegalised in America. It's a good fact, that. You can wow your friends down the public house with that one. The lack of banister is a worry. 
you know, it's like a, it's like a safety barrier, a, a stairs safety barrier. Although if you are in a hurry, you can just jump off the side. So it's quite good. It's, it's a double-edged sword. Quality bit of landing space here. Massive. You could probably build an aircraft landing hangar here. It's so big. Well, they would need planning permission for that, and it would probably get quite noisy. In, in, in fact, scratch that. I ignore that, what I've just said. I think that is the worst idea I've ever had. Master bedroom. Bedroom for, for the, the master. Really good size. Not big enough for aircraft hangar. Don't build an aircraft hangar. Good bed. It's a really good bed. Great for all, all bed-related matters. You would want to draw the curtains though. The, the neighbours might, uh, they might see in. They might see your membership, and not your membership for Tesco's club card points. When I open this, I'm half expecting a massive lion to come out and attack me, and then an evil witch to spring out behind me, you know, like a two-pronged attack. I won't stand a chance. I'll be torn to bits. Or turn into a frog, you know, which I'd wrap in first. Unless, of course, the lion wasn't evil and went for the witch first. In fact, Aslan is a good guy, so I'm sure he'd do that, the last one. Oh, oh, lion, a lion! I'm just mucking about, just, just joshing with you. Here, you haven't got any skeletons in your closet, have you? No, Blake, they did actually. Live next door to him. For 26 years. Hey, hey, hey. Bit of blue on that, bit of blue on that, bit of, bit of blue on that. Blue means porn, by the way. Bit of blue on that. Blue on that, not the boy band. Porn, not boy band. You've got to make sure you know the difference. Pit blue on that. I remember I was in here last time and I said, I can imagine King Kong popping in for a shower. And I still could. Not literally, obviously. He's dead and massive. And it ruined this bathroom, which is very lovely. Do you know what I was I would use to describe it? Aqua, which is French for water. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. This is a Sony uh, radio slash MP3 slash iPod um, surround system. It's great, that. Pop, pop your iPod on, listen to your tunes. Jacka, Saurus, Rex. <laughs> That's not a torture chamber. And the spare room. And that's it. We've got to go. We've got to go. Right. Now it's time for a proper practical joke. Just wrote him out my suicide note. To Colin, I can't take it anymore. My goldfish died yesterday. Sad face. Bye bye. P.S. You're a dick. That'll get him. Jed. 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 Uh. Oh God. Um. Jed. Wait. Wake up, Jed. You're dead. Oh God. Jesus. God, Jed, you're dead. Wake up. Wake up, Jed, you're dead. But ah! Percy. Wait. Is it?
he dead? <laughs> is he dead? Colin! Right, Jess, I seem to have some sort of computer um, glitch. How long has it been there? Well, I've been hitting control alt and delete for a good 20 minutes now. And you've just been sat there like that? Yeah. <sighs> Sorted. So it just works like that? Yep. I'm a bloody computer within me. Is that why there is a pornographic image of a man in his pants on my computer? <laughs> yeah, I did that yesterday. Bloody funny, ain't I? Who is he? What? You don't know who that is? That is Wolford's biggest, baddest, baldest, hardest mother. Phil Mitchell so hard. One time he got shot and still walked up the steps. So he's fictional? Nah, mate. Phil's the realest geezer I think I've ever seen in my life. Ever. Where'd you meet him, then? Duh. EastEnders. Is that a TV programme? Are you living in the real world? Alright, just because I don't spend my entire life in front of the television set, which reminds me, actually, I need to record grand designs later. Jed, check this out. Fucker. There's a lovely couple from Somerset on tonight's grand designs. Jed Cohen, Hot Property, represent. Yeah, yeah, okay. He wants you. Just the noise complaint people again. Hello, Colin Hackwood, Hot. Oh, you suppose you already know this. Are you, and you can hear the noise crystal clear. How, how can you hear me then? Oh, yeah, I suppose mobile in the car. Right. And it's, and it's really loud through the night. You sure you just have them just have the telly on? Okay, okay. But she reckons that uh, that these they've, they've opened up a zoo. I mean, I don't know how they got the money for that. They're back with a zoo for three months. Right. Uh, okay. We will leave it for one more night and see what happens there. Right. Okay. See you later. I've got a real noise problem, you know. Yeah. Do you want to go and sort it? No. Oh yeah, look at what I did on my app last night. Right, I've been doing some thinking, and do you think because of the horse meat scandal, they put real bear meat in pom bears? What? Do you think because of the horse, them putting horse meat in our food without us knowing, they could be putting bear meat in pom bears? What part of a bear would they put inside of pom bears? The ear. The ear? The ear. Bear is massive. Have you seen an actual bear? A real one? Yeah. When? Now. Now? Yes. There is real bear meat in pom bears. Okay. I've been doing some thinking, right? 
and once my mate Keggs found half a cockroach in a gangster's scotch egg bar. Keggs is well odd and he ate it anyway. Okay. Why'd you separate your stuff like that? It's all got to be stored at different temperatures, I mean. Sandwiches have got to be cold. Biscuits, you know, fairly cold. Crisps lukewarm. It's not some sort of weird culinary apartheid I've got going on. What's apartheid? So this is the Colin Hackwood refreshable whiteboard system, a whiteboard to you. I recently picked this up at a charity auction and I must say it is a fantastic piece of kit. As you can see I've got a colour coding system going on here to aid me with my daily plans. It's sort of like the Microsoft Office clip, paper clip. So I've obviously colour coded, I've read underlining denotes something of importance like meetings or potential customers who might want to punch me. Green is for biological break, that's toilet break, you've got to be regular nowadays, there's some awful diseases going around, your IBSs, your Crohn's, your dysenteries, nasty business. Blue indicates a possible potential purchase, so as you can see here, I'm looking to go to the petrol station to pick up a bag of Walker's Max, cheese and onion obviously, and I'm not going to waste their time. The black underlining there suggests a purchase that is uh, essential. So I've underlined Lucasade in black. That's a big bottle of Lucasade at the petrol station on the way home. Black is for fun. So as you can see here, I've got my episode of Grand Designs to tape and I'll also be watching Watchdog. A great night in the Colin Hackwood refreshable whiteboard system, patent pending. Doing, what are you doing, Jed? Jed, oi, Jed. Oh, for goodness sake, Jed. Honestly, give me that. How bloody new that is. I've got that new, and you've drawn you've drawn a, a male genitalia on it. You know what I'm gonna have to do with these pens? I'm gonna have to confiscate these pens from you. Honestly, cannot be trusted. You ruin all the fun. That is not fun. It's a male organ. How is that fun? Goodness me. Yeah, that was bloody mental. I know, I know. I couldn't believe it either. Whoa, she was peng. She was proper asking for it. Did she? I'll get checked. Yeah, we should definitely go out again. Night on town. Booze, babes and balls deep. Yes, mental. When he is about this, he'll shit himself. Right, awesome. I'll see you, Mum. Oh, oh, Mum, Mum. What's for dinner? Um, I'll have spaghetti hoops, potato smiley faces, and turkey dinosaurs. Right, yeah, I'll see you later, Mum. Bye. So Colin, when was the last time you talked to your mum? October. October? Of 2007. Hello Colin, ha- Okay, okay, don't shout. I, I can hear you. You do know what a phone does. It's the noise, people. We've got to go and sort it. What if we don't? You know petrol? Yep. You know fire? Better go. Yeah. Okay, we'll be round in a minute. Bye. For good luck, old chum. For good luck. Seriously, why have you come dressed like that? Got to be prepared for a scrap. Yeah, but I'm surprised you can see with that headgear. I work on instinct, mate. One punch. Bang! Right, well, in that case, you can be the uh, 
the muscle and I'll be the voice of the operation. What? Colin Hackwood, Hot Property. Who? Listen, we've heard you... Alright, Jed. Alright, Jed. We have had one or two teeny tiny complaints about uh, excessive noise levels coming from this property. Gah, it's that Mrs. Pemberton, isn't it? That crazy old crone. Listen, just keep the noise levels down or else. Or oh, what, mate? Look, look, we can sort this out like rationalised and civil human beings, OK? I'll just... Now you listen here. I'm fed up with people throwing their weight about. And I must certainly hate posh little boys like you. So I'm giving you a choice. You can either fuck off, or you're going to spend the next six months drinking through a straw. Your choice, Tintin. Bloody old Jed, do something. Um, shit, bolt it. What? Run! Did you see that punch? That was a proper Mike Tyson banger.